And now, the Grand Strand and Feedy's most accurate weather with meteorologist Ed Piotrowski on your number one source for local news, WPDE News Channel 15. All right, welcome back, everyone. It felt like the dead of winter this morning in many areas of eastern South Carolina, many of you actually in the teens. And, of course, those numbers were records that were broken from, uh, well, a good 50 years ago. They were actually set and they were broken this morning in many areas. Take a look at the low temperatures. Of course, we have the coldest listed first, Hartsville and Bennettsville at 16, Lumberton, Darlington, and Florence in the upper teens, Dillon right at 20. Other areas, as you come a little bit closer to the coast, were actually just a little bit warmer. Loris at 22, same for North Myrtle Beach in Mullins and Conway, Myrtle Beach, and Georgetown, all in the low to mid-20s, and we will likely be just about as cold tomorrow morning as we were this morning. How about lows across the rest of the Carolinas? It was chilly everywhere, 17 this morning in Columbia, 14 in Charlotte, 14 in Asheville, and of course, as you head up the mountains of northern North Carolina, Boone this morning, a measly 10 degrees. We'll be in the upper teens to lower 20s across eastern South Carolina again tomorrow morning. Here are the current temperatures. Well, it didn't warm up a whole lot today, only in the mid-40s in many areas. We're down to 41 now in Myrtle Beach, 44 as you head toward Florence, and 42 in Lumberton. With clear skies, light winds, and very dry air, those temperatures will drop like a rock, and by 11 o'clock tonight, we should be below the 32-degree mark, so a hard freeze likely. In fact, it's a certainty here in the eastern Carolinas. Clear skies across North and South Carolina today, a beautiful day. It'll be clear tonight, quite a bit of sunshine coming up for tomorrow, especially in the morning hours, as you can see. Uh, lots of sunshine back out to the west of us as well. But there are major changes taking place over the eastern half of the nation here that will bring us a good shot of rainfall. There's a strong storm, sty uh, storm system that is in the Rockies here that will dive to the south and east and carve out a trough in the western parts of the U.S., which will bring cold air for them. But it brings warmer air into the Carolinas and also taps a lot of the moisture in the Gulf of Mexico. And we have a very, very good ch uh, chance of seeing rainfall in here starting late Friday night through Saturday and perhaps continuing into Sunday as we see it now. Let's take a look at Futurecast here for the next couple of days. High pressure anchored over the Carolinas and Georgia tomorrow morning, so sunshine and very cold conditions to start the day. Then that high pressure is going to start to move away from our coast. Uh, we'll see some high clouds increasing, but warmer air. We should be in the low to mid-50s in many areas as we head through tomorrow afternoon, so feeling better. But looking at the rain down here, you can see that it's becoming more widespread, and that rain heads at our way so that by Saturday morning, a very good chance of rain just about everywhere. And then by Saturday afternoon and evening, the rain continues in many areas, so a very, very good chance of rain in here for Saturday. And uh, with the storm system still out to the west on Sunday, Looks like the rain is going to stick around as we head through Sunday as well. By the way, the three-degree guarantee, Harvey Walsh had a chance to win $315 tonight. But Harvey, we only missed it by two degrees, so we'll keep the money. Tomorrow night, the last night for the three-degree guarantee, and whosever name we pull is going to get the money tomorrow night because it is the last night, so win or lose, whether I win or lose, you will win tomorrow that $415. So let's take a look at the forecast now for the rest of the night. Clear, near record cold once again. The dew points will be coming up just a bit, so there will likely be at least a light frost in many areas. Overnight lows in the upper teens to near 20 inland, right around the low 20s along the immediate coast. All right, for tomorrow morning, frosty cold, lots of sunshine though. Temperatures warming into the upper 20s and lower 30s by 9 o'clock. And then for the afternoon, we are expecting some high clouds to roll in. We'll call it a mixture of sun and high clouds. Temperatures rebounding nicely. Low 50s along the coast, but mid 50s back across the PD and along the border belt. And here's the seven-day forecast. Don't we need the rainfall? We should get a good shot of it Saturday and Sunday. Warmer weather as well. Highs in the low to mid 60s and a shot of cold air for Monday, but that doesn't last as long. We're back into the mid 50s and lower 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday. And by the way, we could pick up a good inch of rain over the weekend, if not more, in some areas. All right, earlier today, the second graders from Sockestee Elementary School, from Sockestee, of course, decided to pay us a visit. And her very own Jen Gilbert was there to give them this tour of our weather center. And we wanted to say hi to them tonight. And kids, hope you had a fantastic time. And you learned a lot about how the weather is actually done here at WPDE News Channel 15. They had a grand time. And from what Jen tells me, she had a fantastic time as well with all those uh, wonderful kids there, as you see. Hi, kids. Hope you had a great day. We certainly did. It'll be warmer tomorrow. Very good. Right, thanks. Mm -hmm. thanks, Ed. Sports is coming up next. Rich Krampanis previews tonight's PD Pride game at the Lions Den against Greenville. Plus, John Madden has a new team. We'll tell you where the popular football analyst will be talking next season. Straight ahead.